hi guys in this video we are going to experiment off canvas feature with the foundation framer in order to do so we have a look at the foundation documentation here and the containers we have off canvas please have a look at this documentation here before you start building yours all right back to the application of foundation framer and I have made a guideline here which is make our job easier okay we start to build side by side what we need here one two three four containers and each of these containers they have own classes and uh, data attributes let's we start building this off canvas feature with foundation framer here okay we select our column go to content add a container here we drag a container into the column so now we select we go we give add this container selected we give a class of off canvas wrapper of canvas wrapper we have done with our first container second container drag and add into this container must be nested you see our second container is nested in the first container for this we add off canvas wrapper inner off canvas wrapper inner all right for data attribute we add data of canvas wrapper data of canvas wrapper all right the value leave blank we have done now with the second container and we are going to the third container okay the third container is where is holds our navigation uh, third container okay we have our third container selected and before i give a class here i'm going to add my navigation menu here i'm going to add navigation menu from here and order the list all right and i'm going to give his own class i'm selecting an order link i'm going to give uh, menu class of menu menu oops be careful we do this given classes menu so now it displays as menu here horizontally and uh, as you see the second one second class we need here second class for an order link we are going to give i'm going to display it as a vertical so i need a class of vertical All right, we have done with this and back to our container of which is holding this under the list uh, we need a class of of canvas of canvas and position left position left then i'm going to add of id of canvas i'm going to add data attribute of data of canvas data of canvas all right so container selected for just a second, I'm going to change this position. This is dimension 
position I'm going to add here so it's visible for me now I'm going to add for off converse uh, sorry for off select off canvas and I'm going to add background color all right black and I'm adding my fourth container so this is our fourth container now back to the third container change the positions back all right now this is our content every element of your website goes into this container for less we give our own class for this this is our fourth container of canvas wrapper uh, sorry of canvas content of canvas content and that attribute will be of uh, data of canvas uh, canvas content all right hopefully we have done all good so now let's check it uh, we had uh, some content here for our button this button to trigger our slide uh from the content at button name it open side menu all right and add your content into here let's see we add header some paragraph and uh, maybe button another button all right for this button we need to add class of button which is hat uh, an id which i have given for this our third container and uh, value of that attribute will be of canvas so button we have data toggle data toggle and value will be of canvas can canvas hopefully i have not made a mistake here okay let's we check it out Yep, this is how we build our off canvas. All right, we have some little margin here. We try to find it and remove this margin from here. Somewhere, I think last container. So we have effects. Yes, we have a shader effect here. You can remove this if you wish yeah now we don't have the shadow here our off canvas working perfectly and you can click somewhere here on the stage here and close it thank you for watching and hopefully it's useful in your projects